Hey, this is this JJ with Capital Machine, uh, Montgomery, Alabama. I'm with s &B Insulation. Uh, this is an informative video with, the, with our Model 125 on how to insulate a poultry house. Uh, as soon as we wrap this part of the video up, we're going to go inside the poultry house and show you a new 125 that's uh, blowing fiberglass into an existing poultry house. This is new construction. This is a Model 125 with a Honda GX690, a Series 4 blower with an 18-inch airlock. Uh, now we'll go in the house. Get it. Yeah, you want to you want to say hi? Yeah. Uh, tell them the company you represent. What's that? Tell them what company you're with. Uh, Steve Ball Insulation. Steve Ball and S&B Insulation out of Addison, Alabama. Th this is really the right hand man that does all the work. This is Dwayne right here in this photo. <clears throat> Steve Steve's back drinking coffee somewhere at the shop. just kind of a wrap up of what this video entailed. I know it was loud in there and everything, but we tried to just give you a hands-on demonstration in regards to what took place in, in the installation of, of a poultry house. We were using a Capital 125. Uh, we were blowing far fiberglass. Uh, this particular house is 66 feet wide and 600 feet long, and uh, the foreman, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Baldwin, tells me that he can do this house in about 12 to 15 hours, depending on what he's got to, uh, what he's got to deal with. Now, they are averaging, uh, with, with the fiberglass and the product that they're using, uh, about a bag every 40 to 50 seconds, depending on what, uh, what their material settings and whatnot are. For more information, go to capitalmachine.com or call 1-800-421-6473. Uh, if you need your poultry house insulated in the state of Alabama or the surrounding states, get with S&B Insulation out of Addison, Alabama. Thank you.